Hello kind people, Nora here, also known as the Lekker Queen. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel where we discuss all things indoor plants from semi-hydroponics to hospitals to dying plants. Today I have something really special for you. This is my Manjula Pothos. This is a very special plant, it's very very dear to me. I love what this plant looks like. I love the curl that she's got at the edges of her leaves. I love the white and green variegation. She's just gorgeous. And it's really lovely how each leaf is just so different. Isn't nature amazing? I've got this plant living on a moss pole. You know I love a good moss pole. And she's living on a moss pole that has a plastic sheeting on the back and it also has a metal rod at the back for stability because this is a pretty long moss pole. It's, it's pretty, pretty long. Um, what is particularly special about this plant though is, as you keep going, that's, that's all of her. That's all of her. And look at that. This is the base of the plant. This plant has no roots. This plant lived in a 140 millimeter pot and when I was moving house, not too sure what happened there, but she just basically got root rot. And I knew that there was something wrong because the leaves were droopy. She looked very unhappy and I knew there's something going on. And the minute I took the plant out of the pot, the, the roots were mush. They were just literally mush. And I knew that's what the problem was. And of course, at that point, clearly my moss pool had not been as hydrated as I would have liked it to be. Uh, so I took the plant out of the pot, washed off all the dead roots, and was basically left with this. Now, I had a problem. I love my plant. I didn't want to chop it up for propagation. I wanted to keep it as it was. So all I did was get my nutrient solution. So I had my growth technology foliage focused solution and I watered my pole as I should at all times. But you know, life happened. I was in the middle of a big house move. It wasn't as much as I would like it to be, but that's what I did when I found that my plant was literally dying. All I had to do was water the moss pole. Once I watered the moss pole, she perked up and this one, this is a new leaf. I actually got this new leaf with a plant in this state, no roots. Now, how is this possible? This happened because there's actually roots in the moss pole. So you can see the roots that this plant has got living inside the moss pole. And this is the beauty of a moss pole, people. Once you've got a plant leaning against the moss pole, the aerial roots will shoot out. They'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and create a whole root ecosystem in the moss pole. And that's pretty much why the leaves get bigger as the plant climbs up. It's got access to more nutrients because it's got a way bigger root system than it would normally have if it was just the roots at the bottom. So yes, guys, um, my mandula, which by all intents and purposes should actually be dead now, is still alive and is thriving because of the roots that are living in the moss pole. So what I'm doing with this plant now is I am still trying to get some roots down there. So I've got this living, I've, I've um, covered it with a rooting gel. So I've got my Clonex, Grow Technology Clonex, I've coated on that and I've got this sitting in a growth technology Clonex clone solution. So I've got the Clonex, Clonex in addition to the CCS, which is the Clonex clone solution. And I'm really hoping that that will get that moving and I will get some roots at the bottom of that. But yeah, um, I'm really, really happy with this. It's, it's actually shocked me. I shouldn't be shocked, but it has. And I'm loving the fact that I've been able to actually save this plant because it lives in a moss pool. So check out the roots. You can see the roots 
all those roots there. So this is the root system that's actually keeping the plant alive. Isn't that fantastic? So from my manjula and myself, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.